Welcome to the www.mespartans.com Spartan Show for Tuesday, January 12th. This week we get a preview of the 2016 men and women's indoor track and field season. Head men's basketball coach Jared Good and freshman Adrian Johnson join us for an update. And we hear from head swimming coach Mike Kroll about the Spartans' recent home duel. Stay tuned. Thanks to head coach Brian Cashaller and sophomore Paige Keller for joining us. The first question we have for both of you is what is your favorite part of the indoor season? Well, my favorite part is it's just um, we've been working hard all during the fall season mm -hmm. and it's just a way to see like where we've come from and see like everybody how hard they've worked. And see your progression. Yeah, 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 of course. How about you, Coach? Uh, mine is the weather at the meets. It's perfect. <laughs> so uh, it's always 70 degrees and slight <laughs> overcast uh, with the roofs. So, uh, you know, just like Paige said, it's it's track and field is a big progress from mm -hmm. start to finish and, and it's it's part of that building process each meet that we go to is an opportunity to get a checkpoint to see where we're at to make sure everything's mm -hmm. going the right way um, so it's you know indoor season is the start of the season so it's just it's fun to, to get things strides. going <laughs> Paige specifically for you um, field events have played a key role in recent success for the team both men's and women's indoor and outdoor what do you feel has been the biggest keys towards that success well, I think it's a whole team effort, you know, mm -hmm. we've got like the distance runners too and we've all, we all work together and at practices everybody is really supportive. So I think just the team support and everything has been very helpful and so yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's great. And Coach, just for you, uh, can you give us a brief overview of both teams going in the weekend's opener at Rose Holman? We're just looking for a bench point, a benchmark uh, to get things going. Um, it'll give us a, a better opportunity to have uh, better workouts the next couple of weeks as mm -hmm. after we have a meet under our belts and see where we need to improve because there's going to be a lot of places we need to improve. Yeah, of course, and it's the first we, meet. Exactly. So we're looking, we're looking forward to uh, that opportunity and uh, like Paige said earlier, just to, to start the season off. Awesome. Well, thank you both for joining us. Thank You're you. welcome. Head men's basketball coach Jared Good and basketball player Adrian Johnson now join us. Gentlemen, we thank you uh, for taking the time to be here with us today. Um, Adrian, you and the team have been on a, quite a run here lately, so what have been some of the biggest reasons for your hot streak? I think some of the biggest reasons for our hot streak is that our preparation for the last few games has been really good. Uh, the players coming off the bench have been great on preparing us for what the other teams can do. Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent. Uh, Coach, as the team continues to rise in the conference standings, uh, how are you and the staff keeping the team focused on taking things one game at a time? And what are some of your recent thoughts on the recent streak? Well, I think, you know, as far as the preparation and keeping our guys ready, uh, our leadership kind of helps mm -hmm. with that. You know, we have guys, Matt Brown, uh, Brady, and uh, Chase, Keith Berry, like, they, you know, they've been through this. Yes. So. Yes. You know, nothing they do is or I've seen surprises them. Mm -hmm. So I, I really think that helps with us, you know, as far as our preparation and and the success is that that you know, they've really done they've done a great job of taking ownership of the team. Mm -hmm. And it's you know, it's sprinkled down to 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 Adrian and and, and the younger guys as well. So um, so, Adrian, uh, you know we don't get to uh, communicate with a lot with our athletes and get to know them personally. So, uh, we want to get your take. Um, first of all, tell us a little bit about your major and uh, what you plan on doing with your major. Uh, I'm undecided for a major right now, but I'm interested in uh, exercise science. Okay, and then um, who has been your uh, biggest role model in basketball and what's your favorite part about playing here at Manchester? Uh, I have two role models right now. Uh, one is Derrick Rose and one is Eric Gordon. Uh, I know both of them. Personally, I know I've seen them work out. I've seen them uh, playing, uh, play live. I've mm -hmm. seen them up in person and stuff like that. Uh, my favorite thing about playing at Manchester University is learning from the seniors, learning from the upperclassmen, and basically going through everything for yes. the first time. Mm -hmm. All right, well, gentlemen, thank you for joining us. Congratulations again on your recent success, and good luck the rest of your season. Thanks. Thank you. It's now time to meet the Spartan Show MVP of the week. This week, a team has been awarded the honor as the Manchester University men's swimming and diving squad claimed the program's first win of a home duel on January the 9th by defeating Olivet College 102 to 94. Congratulations to Coach Mike Kroll and the Spartans. As you can see by the video clips, there was another great crowd for the black and gold men's and women's final home duel of the 2015-16 season. The men were led by the freshman trio of Andrew Hines, Quinn Michael LaRue, and Gertie Ruska 
who helped capture seven of the eight individual event victories. The women's side of the competition was highlighted by sophomore Ali Roskis capturing her third one meter diving title this season. And now let's send it out to Mark Adkins at the Strauss Peabody Aquatic Center to hear from coach Mike Kroll. Thanks for that introduction, Mr. Moore. I'm with Mike Kroll, our head senior diving coach. Good to be with you, sir. Yeah, thank you. Oh, we're at the last home of the season. What did you think? Yeah, it was really good. Uh, this was our first meet um, since the fall break, uh, so it was good for us to just get up and race. We had a really uh, quick format with the 50s and 100s of the strokes, and we had some really great races at all that college. So. It's just a great environment for us to get up and lose. It's coming down to a championship time, I guess. So we got a couple of bills coming up from the final order of the and then you got the HGA Invitational. Yep. What are you stressing out the team? Uh, so right now we're just stressing, um, really just doing what we need to do, focusing more on the little things um, with, say, starts and finishes and stuff like that, making sure our turns are good because those are the little things that are going to add up when we get to conference and make the difference in our races and stuff like that. As long as we keep training, doing the training that we're doing and uh, focus on those little things, it will be all set for the conference. All right, Mike, congratulations on a great thank day you. today. Thank you. Back to you. That's all we have for now. We thank you for joining us. Please visit www.mespartans.com for more Manchester University athletic news. Have a great week.